Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel LearnIT. Today we will be having another session for our use case scenario for requirement fulfillment which we use in our day to day development activities. So if you are new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe to my channel LearnIT. Please watch my videos till the end for complete information. So now let us move to our use case. So use case is like make URL short. So now let us see what is exact use case for this. So use case would be URL should be shortened so that it looks good to share as per client requirements. Right. So I will show you in my personal developer instance how we can shorten the large URL in service now. All right. So let's move to our personal developer instance and see how we can implement this use case. As you can see, this is our personal developer instance. And now let me type here incident list. And we can see this is our incident list. And now I will open suppose open incidents and a new tab. And we can see we have this URL. And now let us try to add more filters. Location is empty. Assignment group is cab approval. And now we can see this URL is too big. So now let us try to shorten this URL and see how we can implement this. So now let's move in filter navigator and search for processors. So under system definition, we will be able to find this processors. And I will click on this processors and I will click on new button. So I will type any name here. Short an incident URL. And now I will select type as a script and I will remove this CSRF protect. It is not required. And now I will write here path for short URL. Suppose uh, we can write what we can write uh, empty location empty locations list inc list all right so let me try to add one code here g underscore processor dot redirect here i will pass my url the large url and now i will save this So this uh, processor is saved and we can see this big URL can be shortened uh, from this path. So now I will add this path onto this URL and now you will see the magic how it works. I will type slash and this I will hit the enter on this URL and you will see this incident list will start displaying. All right. So this is all about this use case and I have shown how we can implement this use case. All right. Please provide your comment if you have any questions, doubts or queries related to this session. For more information, please visit the description section under this video. Thanks for hearing me out. Stay tuned for more videos. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel LearnIT. Thank you.